Hello friends, in this video I am going to take question number 34 of miscellaneous exercise of chapter 7 of NCERT maths textbook of class 12. So friends, the question is like this, that in this question I have to prove that dx upon x square into x plus 1 from the limit 1 to 3 is equal to 2 upon 3 plus log of 2 upon 3. Okay, now let us see how we are going to solve this question. Okay. So first of all, what can I do here is this that I can write the given definite integral as equal to 1 upon x square into x plus 1 dx from the limit 1 to 3. So this makes very clear that we have to integrate this fraction. And if you observe this fraction, we see that the fraction contains a cubic term that is a term of power 3 and one factor is x square and other factor is x plus 1. Okay. Now, because the denominator is given to us as a cubic expression in the form of factor, so the best possible method out here is to resolve this fraction into its partial fraction. Okay, so firstly we shall resolve the fraction into its partial fraction and the partial fraction of this fraction would be equal to a upon x plus b upon x square because this term x has a power 2 on it. Okay, and the next factor is x plus 1 so I'm going to get c upon x plus 1 okay so this is how we uh, treat the terms having the power 2 as a factor now next what I'm going to do I'm going to take the LCM of the right hand side and I'm going to obtain a x into x plus 1 plus b into x plus 1 plus c x square okay I don't think so there should be any problem regarding how I have obtained this term okay it's an easy calculation at this level okay now these two denominators on the left hand side and right hand sides are equal so we can cancel them and I'm going to obtain this expression and I'm going to mark this as equation number one now this expression will help us in calculating the value of a B and C which is very important because only after the calculation of a B and C I can uh, get the result partial fraction of this fraction okay so now let us see how we are going to solve this value of a b and c so for the calculating the value of a b and c i place first of all x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 1 in the equation because x plus 1 is the denominator of one of the partial fraction okay so on placing x is equal to minus 1 in this equation number 1 i'm going to get 1 is equal to a into minus 1 plus into minus 1 plus 1 okay so this minus 1 plus 1 will become 0 so this term is going to cancel out b into minus 1 plus 1 this will again become equal to 0 and minus 1 whole square is equal to 1 so I'm going to get c so this gives me c is equal to 1 next I'm going to place x is equal to 0 in equation number 1 again so I'm going to get 1 is equal to a into 0 into 0 plus 1 so this term is going to become 0 and c into 0 square will also become 0 and here I'm going to get this as equal to b so I get the uh, the value of b as equal to 1 okay further what I've done I placed x is equal to 1 in equation number 1 so on placing x is equal to 1 in equation number 1 what I'm going to get I'm going to get 1 is equal to a into 1 into 1 plus 1 plus b into 1 plus 1 plus c into 1 is square so this would give me 1 is equal to 2a plus 2b plus c so the third value which I have placed x is equal to 1 is an easy value which I have placed in equation number 1 now because I have calculated the value of c and b so I can make use of these values to calculate the value of a so since a is the only value left to be calculated so I have placed an easy value in equation number 1 and this gives me an expression like this okay so I can further solve for the value of a by placing b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 okay so I am going to get 1 is equal to 2a plus 2 into 1 plus 1 okay this 1 1 cancels out I am going to get 2a is equal to minus 2 or a is equal to minus 1 so placing the values of a b and c I can write the partial fraction of this fraction is equal to this much therefore the given integral can be written as 
the integration of minus 1 upon 1 plus x squared plus 1 upon x plus 1 dx from the limit 1 to 3. Now integration of 1 upon x is log x. Integration of 1 upon x squared would be equal to minus 1 upon x and this would be equal to log of x plus 1. So I get the expression like this minus log x minus 1 upon x plus log of x plus 1 from the limit 1 to 3. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to place the value of upper limit in this expression and subtract it by placing the value of the lower limit in this expression. So I'm going to get the, the, the terms like this. Okay, now minus log 3 cannot be solved this term also. This can be written as equal to 4 log 1 is equal to 0 and this is going to become log 2 and this is going to be written as equal to 1. So I can simplify it as equal to minus log 3 minus 1 upon 3 plus log 4 minus 0 minus 1 plus log 2. Further I can write this terms as it is and uh, this is written as plus 1 minus log 2. Okay. Now further I can see that this value minus 1 upon 3 plus 1 can be written as 2 upon 3 this log 4 upon uh, log 4 minus log 2 will be equal to log 4 upon 2 that is that is it will be equal to log 2 and minus log 3 will give me log 2 upon 3 hence the value of this definite integral would be equal to log of 2 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 so this value is the required value and this is how we are going to prove this question Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.